Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Kian's here and I'm hanging out with Dale. Today we're going to do something different. We're going to do content about food. We're going to St. Peter's Pier. We're going to ask strangers if they can tell us a hidden gym in St. Petersburg, Florida. A food truck, a restaurant, anything, anything. Are you hungry Dale? I'm starving. Let's do this. How's it going? Hey, I'm just doing some quick content. Would that be okay if I ask you guys a few questions? Uh, we're actually on talk with our company. Oh, for the company, no worries. Have a good one. There's a nice food restaurant around that bar. I don't know what the name is. Okay. It's really good. You're gonna see it. It's like next to an uh, Italian restaurant. I like downtown Dunedin a lot. Dunedin? Oh. The, uh, chicken local. Chicken like local. Taco, taco really cool. Really? really good food. I've never heard about it. Would that be okay if I asked a few questions for you guys? Uh, no. No? No worries. Oh, Walk with us. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, do you know any uh, restaurants? We're from Idaho. Oh, so, are you? So yeah, you're just busy? Tourist yeah. place? Yeah. We need to find some people from here though, because they know where is the good food. Yeah, we are looking for like a hidden gems, like a oh. restaurants, like a food truck oh. that maybe not many people know. Okay, yes, okay. So yeah. It is in Tampa. Okay, I don't I'm know down. If are interested. Yeah. Okay, so there's this bar called Gypsy Bar. Okay. Behind it, no, I love it, there's a food truck, and like you can't see it from the street. You have to go behind the bar. And it's like southern food mixed with like Asian food. It's really? so good. I can't remember the food truck name, but it is behind, behind that bar. Behind Gypsy Bar. So we're gonna check that out. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. As you can see here, how passionate she is about this food truck and I'm a fan. I wanna check out this place, but when I type Gypsy Bar on the map, nothing popped up. Closest we find was Gypsy Velvet. Hopefully it's there. I mean, if not, then yeah. I guess we can always check out that Taco Local. Yeah, let's check it out. We decided to drive from St. Pete Pier to Velvet Gypsy. Unfortunately, the doesn't get here till 8. But since we were driving for a while, we thought it'd be cool to stop by and grab a few drinks. A quick tip for you though, if you're new in the area and you want to find some cool spot, the best person to ask is the bartender in your local area. I know a lot. Okay, well, Hidden Gems, first off, dive bar. There's no food, but dive bar. Okay. You gotta go to the hub. It's a Tampa stable. Do not ask for a double. You're single. Be this much booze with this much coke. Okay. Like, you get a Jack and Coke. Igor itself, I love White Life. They have just like an awesome like selection of different booze. The Dirty Shame is another good one. It's like way off to the side. They got a okay. good booze collection. That Reservoir, good little dive bar in Igor. <laughs> Seminole Heights, I would say you gotta stop by Ellis. A lot of people out here love the American Legion, too. How about, um, how about food? I love Haven. 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 Haven's my favorite. So Haven is like a Burns like side project. It's like their casual dining okay. atmosphere. So you can get a good steak, you can get like charcuterie and all that stuff, you can yeah. get all the things. Yeah. But it's more casual atmosphere. It's more like chill, laid back. And their whiskey selection is phenomenal. There's a place on Florida called Girl in the Grill. They have the best vibe out of everything. They have a stripper pole in their kitchen. We'll go in and they are just like, yeah, girl, what's up? What do you want? What can I get you to do? Da, da, da. They make a phenomenal steak, egg, and cheese uh, bagel. Flat top breakfast food. Awesome. Perfect, but made in like a little shack. <laughs> So I mean, the food truck's not gonna here, get here until 8 and I, we don't have much time. I think we're hungry as well. We want to get some food. So instead of waiting for the food truck, which we're going to do another time, today we're going to see the Taco Loco. <laughs> what an adventure. It was what? It was 100 degree hot and now it's like freaking rain. Driving all the way from Santi to uh, Tampa and then now to Brandon. All for this. For you guys, make sure to subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you know when we post the next video. Why would you order this? I like guava. You have this before? Never. Finally, it's time to get some food. I gotta say, if it's not because we're talking to this random stranger, there's no way that I could find this food truck all the way from Brandon. And to be honest, I'm glad that I did. It's very like homemade. Because for me, nothing beats my mom cooking. And eating this give me that kind of feeling. And to me, that's the best compliment. A juicy steak. Where's the flavor right here? I like this place, you know, it's 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 a really good homemade taco. Really good if you're tipsy, if you're drunk. I think it's amazing food for it. With a nice budget, only 20 bucks. We got two taco local, which makes us pretty full. Including two drinks, you got full with $10. Like, you know, like that's so on the scale 1 to 10. I gave it a 7.5. I'll definitely come back many, many more times, especially when I'm drunk. Hopefully, I have a camera with me. So you see when I'm drunk eating taco, baby. Because 